All right, welcome to another episode of Paul's Collectibles. Today I'm on episode two of the series of videos dealing with my three and three quarter inch Star Wars action figure collection. And if you're new to the channel, I appreciate you stopping by. Hope you like the video. If you want, check out some of the other videos I've done on my action figure collection or some of my helmets or my full-size stormtroopers. And if you're a returning viewer, I appreciate you coming back. You check out these videos as I'm putting them out. Clearly, I haven't bored you to tears yet, so I guess I'm going to have to try a little bit harder. So <laughs> with that, as you can see, today we're going to look at my collection of multi-packs over here behind me. And without any further ado or me talking, let's get into this. Let's start out with Toys R Us exclusive. Jedi Knights from Battle of Geonosis and a clone trooper that they threw in there as well. Now, if you remember, the characters that carry lightsabers and the clone troopers and stormtroopers are what I collect, so this one is just going to be a no-brainer. So this is apparently Clone Commander Pons, Roan Shrine from right to left, Sarissa Jing, and Sefjet Josal. And these were a Toys R Us exclusive, as you can see. Got the cool packaging, Darth Vader up there reaching out. And on the back, obviously Battle of Geonosis in the background there, and they go over a little bit more about the Jedi Knights and a little bit about the story. So, then of course there's the second version of that. This time there's a clone Captain Devis in this one. And we got a guy who's dual wielding here, blue and green. That would be uh, Salig Men Hen Kenjin? <laughs> Who named these guys? Anyway, <laughs> and then the next one in there is called, oh boy, Kot Keen and then Key Mars Redath or whatever. Anyway, these were Jedi that you couldn't get otherwise in single packs that I'm aware of. And then, of course, the back once again. There's Captain Dual Wielding. And another idea of what went on at the Battle of Geonosis. Alrighty. We'll head over here to the Spectral Action Figure set. This is a villain set that I picked up. This was a Target exclusive, obviously. And uh, I'm not a huge Darth Vader fan, but I did like the Stormtroopers, obviously, and the Death Squad Commander being in there. And that's just a really cool set, so I had to go ahead and pick that up as well. And on the back of this one, it gives you some other action figure sets that you could collect in threes, uh, most of which didn't really appeal to me, like the Rebel set and the Hero set. This one was pretty cool, though. And like I said, I like the fact that they call him the Death Squad Commander, if you're familiar with uh, the naming controversy of that from back in the 70s. The figure, when it came out by itself, was called Death Squad Commander, and that was deemed to be a little too tough for kids. So they changed his name to Death Star Commander or something like that, but it's back to Death Squad Commander. And my finger's carving it, but there's the Kenner logo. Okay. Next up, we're going to do Evolutions. Now, the Evolution sets I like because... You get a bunch of same types of figure, but they go through and they will show you like a progression. So this one is actually based on the Force Unleashed game, which you can see right there. That's a console and video game that you can play. But it has uh, the Secret Apprentice in there and a Sith Lord. <laughs> wow, they really got creative naming him, didn't they? <laughs> Sith Lord and Jedi Knight. Okay, at least I can pronounce Jedi Knight as opposed to what they normally name these guys. And that's uh, Vader's Secret Apprentice on Evolutions. And on the back, they give you some other packs that you can collect. The Sith Legacy and the Jedi Legacy. And then they give you some interesting information about the characters in there. And give you some cool posed pictures. Make them look kind of bad. All right, let's go on to the next one. This is Sith Evolutions with the Darth Maul. I think that's a 30th anniversary collection is what that 30 means. Obviously, this is from 07. And as you can see, this one has Darth Nihilus or Nihilus. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that. I never played that Knights of the Old Republic game, which is, I believe, what he's from. And then you've got Darth Bane. I can pronounce that from the Old Republic. And then over here, you've got... Darth Maul from The Phantom Menace with his shirt off, looking like he's been ripping out some sit-ups and <laughs> some pull-ups and stuff. Look at that. <laughs> he's bad. All right, we'll flip this over, and then they've got some cool poses with them, and then some of the other packs you can get. We have the Secret Apprentice one. I don't believe I... I do not. I do not have the Jedi Legacy one. I uh, missed out on that one. So, and there's a description of the, uh, the lords that are in there. Now, 
we will go up to this is another evolutions of sith as you can see this is from the legacy collection and this is darth bane well and that's that's darth nihilus or nilus or um and that's darth maul wait, wait a minute hold on this is starting to sound familiar does this look familiar to you <laughs> wait a minute oh, okay so ho hold on a second what the i'll be darned those are the exact same figures just in different orders i had to buy them in two separate packages and i didn't even realize i'd done that son of a okay we're back uh got everything straightened out back under control so anyway we'll move on <laughs> so once again you know this is going to be a no-brainer for me there is uh, a sith lord and a bunch of stormtroopers in here and this one's really cool this was an entertainment earth exclusive this is called joker squad they're from a comic book and i know that because i'll show you on the back but what's cool about this is there's a quarren sith lord in here called lord malavol if you look at his name right down here lord malavol that's lord malavol he comes with a whip and a red lightsaber that's kind of neat you don't see too many sith lords like that and then you've got the clone sergeant that runs this squad and what i think is interesting about him is he has yellow markings on his stormtrooper armor and that kind of wasn't a thing for the most part in the movies but keep going down here and check it out you have her name is jess gestang Je jess gestang you guys probably know how to pronounce her name better than i do anyway the only female stormtrooper i've ever seen and any figure whatsoever. That's pretty cool. And then of course you got the rest of the squad here with the Empire logo up there. And then flipping it over, like I said, this is how I can tell. They're from this Star Wars Legacy comic book. And then there's Lord Malleville. This time he's got his whip in his hand. There's the Sergeant. And of course they show you pictures of all the people. And then they show them in this panel from the comic book, which is how you have an idea of what they're from. Joker Squad, pretty cool. All right, moving right along, we're going to move into this battle pack that I picked up. This is the Clone Attack on Coruscant battle pack. And uh, this one, obviously, there's the leader. And then he's got a bunch of clone squad members there backing him up. And my favorite thing about this, this says it's from Revenge of the Sith really quick. My favorite thing about this is that they mocked it up in the box to make it look like they were in one of those clone attack ships that you see in the movies. But it's all just cardboard and stuff, so... There it is, like I said, clone attack on Coruscant on the back. They've got a picture of them in one of those drop ships. The interesting thing is, I don't see anybody flying this thing, so <laughs> I don't know how they're coming down. But uh, gives you an idea of the massive battle that occurred on there. A little bit of a picture. And then down here, it's got some other Jedi versus Darth Sidious, Jedi versus Sith. Those would have been cool to have. I unfortunately didn't pick those up. Next. We got another Evolutions. This one is the 30th anniversary collection too, looks like 77 to 07 Star Wars. But this is Clone Trooper to Stormtrooper Evolutions. And they start off with a Clone Trooper from Attack of the Clones. That's the first phase. And then they move on down to the Clone Trooper from the Fall of the Republic, Revenge of the Sith, otherwise known as the Stage 2 Clone Troopers in the Stage 2 Army, or excuse me, Stage 2 Armor. And then they move on to the Empire. Stormtrooper, the Rebellion, A New Hope. Now, of course, the interesting thing is they call this a Stormtrooper, although we know these commonly as Sand Troopers. And on a related note, they sanded this guy up. <laughs> it looks like he was buried in a pit of sand before they've stuck him in this box. I've never seen one with so much sand on it before. He's almost brown. But anyway, I get a kick out of that. <laughs> I don't know how he passed inspection. They still call him Stormtrooper here. And then the Clone Troopers, they are there. Then they give you a little bit of a, an idea. The evolution of the galaxy's most powerful army da, da, da. clone trooper to stormtrooper and then it's got some other ones there's anakin skywalker to darth vader then there's the sith which we won't talk about right now anymore all right and then lastly i have this target exclusive which i could not pass up it had all of the trooper types from solo a star wars story now if you look at the pack that's pretty cool they got the pictures of them on there this actually has force link 2.0 i think those are the chips that make them talk I didn't know they had brought that back until I got this, but it's got the Stormtrooper, it's got the Mimbin Stormtrooper, it's got the Patrol Trooper who was on screen for about three seconds. <laughs> it's got Han Solo dressed as a Mud Trooper is what they're referring to those as. Then a Mud Trooper, and then it's got the TIE Pilot, and there it is, only at Target. And the other pictures. Now I have most of these characters, specifically the Stormtroopers, 
and the patrol trooper, I have those in single action figures. And of course, everybody has a TIE fighter pilot, but I couldn't pass up picking this up because that's just a really cool product. And I thought, well, you know, I'll add that to the collection too. Oh, sorry about that noise. Let's turn this around here. And on the back, it's just got some cool posed pictures of the different characters, giving you an idea of what they might look like in action. And of course, it's in like 18 different languages. There's the Force Link 2.0 description. Over here, it shows you how to use the Force Link. So I think that makes them talk. Ooh, you can wear it on your wrist. <laughs> I'm going to wear that to work or something. Just kidding. I'm not doing that. But anyway, and then it's got all of the uh, legalese down here. Okay, that does it for my multi-packs. I hope to see you on the next episode where we will continue to go over my three and three quarter inch Star Wars action figure collection. All right, take care.